All right, guys, how are you doing? I know it's been a while since I've been on here. I'm really gonna try to get on here a lot more often. I've just uh, been really busy with some stuff lately. I've got a wedding coming up in a month. I've been trying to get that taken care of. So it's been a little hectic. Okay, so it is that time of the month again for my play box. All right, I'm having to record on my tablet this time and I had to kind of set it up weird. So it's gonna look like I'm looking to the side, but I'm really not. Um, my phone is uh, <laughs> dying and I wanted to get this video done. So, plus I can see better on my tablet anyways. All right, let's see if I can, there we go. All right, now I already kind of know a little bit <clears throat> about what's in the box this month only because the website told me. This is my favorite part again. Uh, I hate that it's backwards though because of my camera. Anyways, um, my bonus points. Love, love, love my bonus points. Okay, so we're going to open it up. That way I can tell you what all this stuff is. All right, so make it snappy is what it says. Um, I know these bags aren't fancy, but it helps keep all my stuff together. Um, one thing I'm not too excited about is the perfume this month because I already have it. Um, just the sample. Sorry, I'm dropping things. But it was a sample that came a couple months ago. Burberry Blush, which is a very good one. But we got it again. So for those that just started doing the play box, then, you know, it's, a, it's something new and it's something really awesome. But I have two now, which is okay, I guess. I mean, you know, the sample sizes don't last that long. Although mine have been lasting, but that's because I haven't really been using them much um, since I got my uh, Michael Kors, which I don't think I got a chance to show you. I'm sorry. I know that was a really bad close-up. Uh, Michael Kors Wonderlust. It is the light bottle. There's a light one and a dark red one. This one is, uh, to me, it's better. The, the red one was too strong. Um, but I love it. I mean, I've been using it every day for about a month now and you can see, I mean, I've barely used any, um, ha, look at my face in the bottle. That's too funny. Ha, it's like a Snapchat filter. Um, anyways, I use it every day. I do one, two, three sprays every day. So, you know, and it lasts all day. All right. So let's start off with buxom i think is how it said plump up the volume it is a full-on plumping lip polish um i've never used any kind of lip plumping products um it is shimmery here yeah it is shimmery it's a light pink it is pretty i might actually uh well i will actually try it uh shimmering Plumping, shine, refreshing, tingling sensation, pampers and moisturizes with vitamin A and E. And it's available in a hundred seriously sexy shades. That's exactly what it says. This is called Celeste. Um, so we'll try it out. Honestly, I mean, the color's, you know, pretty, but I wear kind of a darker. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's put it on. And I'll, I'll leave it on while the video's running and see if it does anything. So... Because I've always been curious about this kind of stuff. I know, it looks like I'm looking sideways, but I'm really looking at the screen. Because my camera is over here on the side. I had to put my, uh, ooh. I kind of had to put it sideways. Because with my stuff plugged in, it can't stand up straight. It's kind of weird. It's like a cold, tingly feeling. I don't know. <laughs> Smells good, though. All right, so while that's doing its work, we're going to keep going. All right, Purity Made Simple Moisturizer. Um, this is by Philosophy. Um, I've heard it's good. Philosophy, I think I have used a few things from them. Matter of fact, I think this is from them. Belief. Uh, it's an eye cream. Uh, oh, maybe not. I don't know. 
it, it looks like the same kind of font, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I mean, it's good. It works. It's nothing fancy, but it works. Oh, I, I do have something else to show y'all, too, um, after I get done with my box. Anyways, so this is Ultra Light Moisturizer. So we'll try it out and see. I'm always... Um, it says, in three days, see makeup optional skin. Skin looks glowing, dewy, and smooth with less visible pores. So we will try it out and see how it works. I'm always um, up for new moisturizers. I have a couple that I use. Um, this is my, my good stuff, so I try not to use it unless I'm actually putting on my makeup. So uh, if I'm going to put my makeup on for the day, I will put... Where's the other one? Okay. Let's see. And this is a sample that I got uh, in another box, but this is Clinique Pep Start. And this right here, I put right here and right here. Now you don't wanna actually go here. When you put it here, it'll soak in. So I put it all the way around. And then this is what I put on the rest of my face. Um, another thing I do too, uh, I, I'll switch back and forth. If I'm gonna go somewhere, I'll use this. And then if I'm doing like uh, at night type thing, I'll use this. Sometimes I'll switch back and forth. It just kind of depends on how I feel. Another thing I do, I know I'm getting a little off subject, but I have this. It is the Glam Glow uh, like treatment mask type stuff, but it's not really a mask. I, I really like it. Uh, it's Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. I do this about once every week or two. Um, it's not bad at all. I, it's one of the ones I actually like. This is what it looks like. It actually smells really good. And you uh, put it, not a thin layer, but not a thick layer. But you put a layer on your skin and you let it sit. And it's not like the traditional mask where it gets hard and you can't move your face, you can't smile, you can't do anything, you can't talk. It, it, you just put it on and then after about, I think 10 to 15, I think I normally do about 15 minutes. It says 10 to 20. Um, I do about 15. After the 15, you wipe off any excess, any anything that hasn't soaked in, you wipe off, and then the rest of it you massage in. I mean, it's just like a lotion, except you, you know, slap a bunch on, let it soak in, and then do its thing. Um, and I like that, because I don't like those masks that get hard and crusty and you have to wash off. I mean, I'll do them, but I don't like to. And I, I bought this. Um, this is actually... It's from Eco Tools. It's the cheap Walmart thing, um, but it works. It came with the brush, and it came with three of these sponges, uh, which I was using when I was using a regular mask. And you use the brush to put the mask on. It's a very soft, regular, flexible brush. Nothing, nothing fancy. Though. Most of them I found were actually like silicone. I didn't want silicone. I wanted this kind. Um, but you would apply it with this, and then once you go to wash the mask off, you use the sponge. And the sponge didn't make it um, a lot easier to wash that stuff off. But since getting the other stuff, I don't have to do that. So, anyways, back to uh, what we were doing. Alright, so this is Kiehl's Dermatologist Solutions Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. It is 12.5% vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid for dry skin is your best friend. That is what I look for in all of the moisturizers that I use is the hyaluronic acid because if you have dry flaky skin like I do, I mean mine will get so bad that I can just do this and it'll fall off. Used to, it got that bad. And since I have been using CeraVe, Glam Glow, uh, mostly the CeraVe does a really good job. Anything with the hyaluronic acid and it has done wonders. So we will try this out. Um, I believe it's for like wrinkles or something or fine lines. Powerful strength line reducing. So it's for fine lines. We'll try it out. All right, so this is Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with a sunscreen. So it's kind of like a Kind of a foundation, but I think it's like a pre-foundation. You put it on, it's like a moisturizer, skin tint. I'm not really a C. Apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. Use a water-resistant sunscreen and swimming. So I don't know. It smells good. 
Um, new generation of skin tint that instantly blurs and perfectly even skin for a healthy luminous finish. Buildable extra glide lightweight formula hydrates while protecting. Skin flawlessly glows with new warmth and a perfectly healthy look all in one quick sleep. So I guess it's like if you're going somewhere and you don't want to do all your makeup or you're going to the pool and you want to look good but you don't want to do your makeup or you can't do your makeup, put that on. Uh, so we'll actually try that out because uh, there's days I don't do my makeup. Like today, you know, I didn't do my makeup today. Okay. Last but not least, Dr. Dennis Gross, Fight Wrinkles While You Sleep. It is a wrinkle recovery peel that has uh, ferulic acid and retinol. Um, I honestly don't care about my wrinkles. I know some people do. I have them right here, a little bit here, but I don't care. I really don't. We're all going to get old. We're all going to get wrinkly. It doesn't matter how much Botox you have, it doesn't matter how much water you drink, it doesn't matter what you do, how many of these peels that you do, it doesn't matter. I will do it just to see uh, what the hype is all about. It looks like there's, yeah, there's two of them. So I get two of them. Um, a new way to peel with clinical dose retinol for professional results. For optimal results, you use two to three times a week in the PM. Thoroughly massage treatment pad onto clean, dry skin. Um, that's all it says. I'll have to look it up. Um, I guess you sleep in it though. But, uh, I mean, I'll use it, see if it does anything. But, I mean, no matter how much we try to stop it, slow it down, whatever, eventually we're all going to be old and wrinkly. I mean, everybody's going to get 70, 80 years old and have wrinkles. It's part of life. So embrace it and... Focus on the more important things like, you know, your kids, your grandkids, your significant other, the, the achievements you want to do in life, things like that. Like, don't, don't worry about all that crap. You know, we're all going to get old. All right, so this little lip stuff. It is really, really weird. I don't see much of a difference. I feel it, but I don't see any kind of lip plumping. I don't know. I don't really pay attention. Oh, I see a little bit, but not much. Um, it is cold. It's almost like having uh, a wintry gum on your lips. It is cold. It's really weird. All right, so this I got not too long ago. I know how to do it, but if I can make it easier, then I'm going to. So this is the Liner Designer by Beauty Blender. Um, it comes with a little suction cup, so you can, like, put it up on the mirror or something, but it doesn't work very well, so honestly, I don't use that that part of it. But it has a uh, magnifying mirror in it. Oh, that is awesome. Look how that's doing on the video. That's pretty cool looking. Anyways, and it's, it's, so there's a little, little container to, to keep it in. It looks like a guitar pick, and it's actually silicone. It's very flexible, and it's got three different sides on it, and it's for doing eyeliner. So this side... You do like this, line it up, and it, well, it normally sticks on there. It might not right now, though, because I haven't cleaned my skin. But, there we go, it'll stick on there, or you can just hold it on there. And anyways, it's a guide for your eyeliner. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, and I love it. Um, I use it every time now. And uh, like I said, I know how to do my eyeliner, but it makes it a heck of a lot easier. And anything that'll make my life easier is worth it. So that is my play box. Like I said, I'm going to try to do more videos. I really am. I'm working on it. I just got so much going on. In a month, I'll be married. And then that part will be taken care of. So anyways, see you later, guys.